Task number one, teaching sounds and sound combinations. Teaching students to match the written symbol with the sound that it makes is the first major task in teaching reading. It is commonly known as phonemic awareness or simply as teaching phonics. When we teach the sound symbol relationship, we will only teach one sound for each symbol. We appreciate that certain symbols can have different sounds in different words. We will teach those variations using a different strategy. Look at pages 8 and 9 of the instructor's manual. Listed on those pages are all of the sounds and sound combinations of the program. Column 1 designates the lesson in which the sound is introduced. In the second column, the sound or sound combinations is provided. In column 3, the sound which that symbol or combination of symbols makes is given in this list. Column 4 provides a common word in which that sound is used. The last column signifies whether the sound is short or continuous. Continuous sounds like m mm can be held as long as you have breath. Short sounds like t cannot be held. It is important to know whether a sound is short or continuous when we go to our next task of blending sounds together to decode words. Short sounds make blending sounds into words harder. Continuous sounds make blending sounds into words easier. Wherever possible, we will convert short sounds into continuous sounds to facilitate later blending skills. Mm -hmm.